Hey guys, I'm Scott, and this is Brio Basics. Today we're gonna to be cooking grilled chicken, salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil. Here we go. All right, so the first thing, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your chicken is trimmed. A lot of times chicken breasts will come pre-trimmed, but if there's little fat or anything like that, you can take it off. As you guys can see, this chicken is all ready to go. Um, you can, if it's too thick, you can pound it out a little bit, but today we are not gonna do any of that. A little bit of salt. We have coarse sea salt. I always like to use coarse salt. And we're gonna season both sides and a little bit of pepper, coarse ground black pepper. I like to have a glove on one hand, that way I can flip the chicken, it's not getting all over me, then I just take the glove off and I'm going right to the grill with it. Some things that go really well with chicken, uh, garlic, rosemary, thyme, if you wanna spice it up a little bit, you can always put some, paprika, or some uh, cayenne, paprika, that kind of thing. But today's all about the grill and the temperature, not as much about the seasoning. And then we're gonna go right over to the grill with this thing. So I've had, you can see I have the wood burned down there a little bit. It's down to coals. We still have flame, which is fine with chicken. I do have this sitting off the flame a little bit. The main goal is to get a delicious sear on this chicken, and then we're gonna lift it up a little bit and slow cook the inside. That'll make it real nice and juicy. It's gonna lock all those juices in and we're just gonna rock and roll with it. So you wanna hear a nice sizzle when you put it on. And then you're just gonna let it sit for a little bit. <laughs> All right, so I did lower this a little bit just to get a little bit more heat on this first side of the chicken. We're gonna roll this sucker over. Oh baby, look at that. That is looking delicious. It's nice and hot. And we're just gonna sear the other side. And then we're gonna raise it up and let it slow cook. I am gonna drizzle a little olive oil on there now just to give it a little bit more moisture. That'll flame up a little bit and that is okay. Okay, we're getting ready to pull these bad boys off here. Uh, I just tempt them. They're at 155. Chicken, you need to be at 165. I'm gonna pull them off in about a minute. I did flip these two times, um, just, just so they cook very evenly. I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of olive oil on there, just for a little more, more moisture. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. And then we're gonna get this off and we're gonna let them rest as always. Now, rule of thumb, any protein, let it rest at least five minutes before you cut, uh, cut into it. That's gonna keep all the juices in there. If you cut it before, all the juice is gonna run out and when you go to eat it, it's gonna be dry. Again, you gotta be patient, but it's so worth it. Um, this has been such a nice low and slow heat. I think we're gonna be really, really happy with how this turns out. I'm gonna pull this off in about a minute and, uh, and then let it sit, clean up, and get ready to eat. All right, we're gonna pull these off. Chicken breasts, you have to be really careful. You do not want to overcook it. There's hardly any fat in it, so it's very delicate. It has to be cooked all the way through, but in order to keep it juicy, you gotta, you gotta be on top of it, if you know what I mean. Um, so we're gonna let that rest couple minutes we're gonna cut into this and give it a try so again this is a very simple recipe but now it's for all the money mm -hmm. look at that literally you can see the juice coming out of that it's just so stinking ridiculous cut that up you got to try it here the big thing is is the flavor there I'm gonna tell you 
Mm. All right, so that's all there is to it. We got delicious grilled chicken. It almost has like a chicken barbecue flavor because it was cooked over the fire, the open fire pit. It's got a little crisp on the outside. It's juicy on the inside. This you can cut up, put in a different recipe, or you can eat it as is with some vegetables, mashed potatoes. This is good home cooking. All you gotta do is just be patient, let it rest, and you're in for a real treat. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.